Search on BBC iPlayer. I hope he's scared. He should be scared. But his mind is constantly focused on one thing. How do I benefit Donald Trump? While there may be some rabble rousers thinking about coming to our city tomorrow, a message is clear and simple. Control yourselves. This is a really murky incident. It's not immediately clear exactly who was behind this explosion. The war supporters and many other experts believe it must be Ukrainian intelligence behind this attack. Russian investigative committee uh, thinks that Russian opposition was also involved. This particular part of the bridge used to be packed with addicts. They're often huddled together, high and shooting up. Their rehab is pretty inhumane, as you know. It's basically to lock them up and make them sweat it out. Um, and again, it, it doesn't have lasting effects, uh, not lasting beneficial effects. Hello, welcome to The Context. Brand new programme tonight. From now on, we will be with you at the early time of 8 o'clock, 2000 BST, and for two hours rather than one. Which gives us plenty of room then to focus on our top stories tonight. Uh, we'll be getting the view from Ukraine and Russia on the information war that's being fought over the death of the Russian blogger. We'll bring you up to date with the battle in Bakhmut. Yelda Hakim will be here with her exclusive investigation on drugs in Afghanistan and the supply routes that end here in Europe. But tonight we're going to start in Manhattan where Donald Trump will soon be arriving at New York LaGuardia Airport ahead of his court hearing tomorrow with the Secret Service in tow. Uh, this is his plane.